All right, so here we go. I've been watching reviews of this casing and I had to try it out. Um, you know, I, it's making its way around social media and YouTube and I've heard a lot of people praising this. But today we're gonna talk about the real truth of it. So let's go. Okay, so once again, if you are here, you know that I am an average tech guy, and today we are here to talk more tech, more reviews, and this is the C1 case from Spigen that is uh, mimicked after the old school uh, Max from back in the day. So, what do we get? This is a hard shell casing. It's actually um, different pieces put together. You can kind of pull them apart if you wanted to. Uh, this casing is magnetic. It is TPU and it does have multiple layers. Now, one of the biggest things you have to remember when you pick this case up, and I heard a lot of people praise it, uh, but it's actually, you gotta take this off. So this piece is the key to almost everything. And it it, it is not very hard to remove it. So that is my issue number one. Like if you lose this, you just kind of got this little flimsy, like look at it, it's like a, like you could just, it, it just, it crumples up. So that's what you're left with if you lose this piece. And like I said, it's not very hard for it to come out. And also in order for you to put your phone in here, you have to take that bottom piece off. And they actually give you some instructions when you first open it up. And they're like, hey, don't like try to put this in with that piece attached, all that good jazz. And then once you get it in, you attach it. Now I will say once it's on, it's harder to take out. So, and there we go, nice and clean. So not a whole lot of fingerprints, but once again, once you put it on, it is harder to take out. So just keep that in mind. If you're gonna swap cases out and leave this just sitting, be careful with this piece. If you're going to put it on and just wear it, you don't have to worry about it just popping off. So just keep that in mind. Protection back here is pretty decent, no issues there. Uh, it does protect the cameras, it hides them. Buttons machined on the side and action button dedicated. That is like one of the biggest things right now. Magnets, dedicated action button, and some rim protection. And you do have a decent amount of rim protection that sticks out. So when you drop it, all case, all the time. So like I said, I've been hearing a lot of things, a lot of good things, nothing negative. And myself, I couldn't find a whole lot of negative about this casing either. Uh, like I said, if you're going to wear multiple cases and swap them out, you watch out for this piece. That is probably the only negative that I really, really found about this. And let's talk magnets. No issue there. It does charge magnetically. And let's try out one of these wallets. I got a wallet here. This one is from Spec. So this is their standy clip or clippy stand or something, something. I got a, I got a video about it, but probably one of my favorite little standing um, doodads right about now. I like it. Um, acts as a stand and then like a pop socket type deal. Stick your finger there. But Everything works. I like it. It comes in a bunch of different colors. So I'm going to drop a link below. You'll be able to go by and check this out for yourself. And one of the other things that I kind of really do like is that the Apple logo stands out. You do get some writing in here, speaking your warning, and you do get a chipset in here as well. But I, not a whole lot of negative. Like I said, only thing that I did find wrong with it. If you're going to be swapping them in and out, just keep up with this little piece down here. Other than that, it's a pretty solid and well-built case. So all the praise, it wasn't really overhyped. The hype was just right. So hopefully this has been able to help someone out. Until next time, Average Tech Guy out. Peace.